Now let me set the scene for you. The exclusive members-only club, located on a picturesque stretch of coastline, is owned and run by Beckham and frequented mainly by A-list celebrities like the Kardashians, the Beckhams and other Hollywood royalty looking for a low-key yet luxurious getaway. Access to the club and its amenities, which include a beachfront restaurant, spa, and of course use of Beckham's impressive multi-million dollar yacht, is highly coveted amongst the famous. With her star power and connections thanks to her royal past, Meghan has long been eager to infiltrate these exclusive coastal hangouts full of big-name players. So when she heard Beckham would be docking her yacht at the club for a long weekend, the self-professed luxury and wellness enthusiast saw the perfect opportunity to cozy up to this prestigious crowd. According to inside sources, Meghan put out quiet feelers to borrow the boat for a girl's night on board with some of her celebrity friends to really rub shoulders with the elite and insert herself into their social scene. But that's allegedly where things went sour, as Beckham is said to have flat out rejected Meghan's request, leaving the Duchess completely stunned and wanting answers. Beckham is known for her discretion and loyalty to inner circle. So to bluntly deny one of world's most famous women access raised more than a few eyebrows. But it seems there may be bad blood or perhaps bruised egos dating back several years that explain the designer's reluctance. Some history. Back in 2019, when Meghan was newly married to Prince Harry, she attended Beckham's flashy yacht christening party alongside Tom Brady's supermodel wife Giselle Bündchen, who has long been one of Nicola's closest friends. Sources claim Meghan rather ostentatiously commanded conversation and attention amongst the group, at one point swooping Giselle away while Nicola looked on displeased. From there, whispers of a cooled friendship between Meghan and Giselle arose with some suspecting the ambitious Duchess had schemed to upstage the renowned supermodel at her own friend's event rather than merely mingling as a guest. There were also rumors Meghan had her sights set on introducing Harry to her high-powered industry connections like Giselle and Nicola for post-royal career opportunities. Her forwardness apparently rubbed Nicola the wrong way from the start and cast doubts on Meghan's intentions that have lingered ever since, according to club insiders. Like many, Beckham views Meghan with skepticism as an opportunist more interested in climbing the social ladder and self-promotion than genuine friendships. This suspicion was allegedly only heightened a year later when Meghan used that same yacht christening outing for publicity on her Instagram, framing it as quality time with close pals despite being a relatively new acquaintance of Nicola and Giselle's. Some saw this as Meghan attempting to affiliate herself with celebrity supercouples for clout rather than any real bond. So with that history, when Meghan's people came sniffing again, this time to borrow the Beckham yacht, word is Nicola was immediately wary of potential ulterior motives or attempts to misrepresent their relationship again down the line. She refused to enable any self-serving designs despite Meghan's status, instead prioritizing loyal friends like Giselle. Understandably, this flat denial left Meghan incensed and demanding to know who Beckham thought she was dismissing a royal in such a manner. Is she forgetting who I am? Does she not know my influence and connections? Megan allegedly fumed to friends. Stung by the rejection from this social circle, she's long coveted acceptance from. Of course, having left behind senior royal duties last year, Megan is no longer able to wield the same influence or privilege of demanding VIP treatment everywhere she goes as before. Now more than ever, her access increasingly depends less on titles and more on trust, discretion, and rapport built over time. Commodities Nicola believes Meghan lacks having only scratched the surface. By denying her borrowed access to the yacht and club, Beckham has established clear boundaries and laid down a firm message that simply being famous or friends of friends won't be enough to gain a pass into this world she helped cultivate. With patience and consistency, over time perhaps, but entitlement or arm-twisting won't work on Nicola, who values loyalty above all else. How Meghan will respond remains to be seen. With her tendency towards dramatic press maneuvers when thwarted, there's no doubt this public snub stings. Could we see a scathing interview or passive-aggressive Instagram post alluding to fake friends in the industry? Only time will tell how far she'll go to prove she still commands influence without titles, or risk coming across as spiteful and out of touch with post-royal realities. Either way, 
You can bet this is far from the last we'll hear of bad blood and competing agendas between these two fiercely ambitious yet distrustful socialites. With titans like Beckham and Meghan both striving for status amongst the A-list summit, fireworks are bound to ensue as they jockey for position atop the influencer food chain. For now, Nicola seems to have won this round by ensuring her coveted yacht and beachfront sanctuary remain invitation only in the truest sense. But will Meghan's rumored retaliation help cement her as too toxic an associate? Or might the designer eventually soften to forge ties with such a global power broker if handled delicately? Stay tuned for updates on this burgeoning billionaire bitch fest right here on A-List Feuds. And that's all we have for today's episode. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this brewing celebrity feud in the comments. Who do you think was in the right? And how do you see it unfolding from here? For now, I'm Allison Jones signing off. Thanks as always for tuning in.